Now, as you saw in our introductory side, the president sounded a bit frustrated that I already told you I'm going to run, just not ready to announce. And maybe he was referring to the fact that his wife over in Africa already told us what his plans are. Take a listen to this. How does he have to say it until you believe it? He says he's not done. He's not finished what he started. And that's what's important. He's not done, Tammy. Well, of you course, do... you dummy. You knew he was running. Look, look, you can do whatever it is he's been doing, which is not being president somewhere else. So I don't know what she's referring to. He's, he's not done ruining the country. He's not done laughing at you know, Christian schools that get shot up and, and making jokes about that. I mean, I don't know what they think is happening and if the American people are aware of it, because we are. Um, it, but it, that also, though, was a, was a very strange, vague way of addressing it. You either say you're running or you're not. There seems to be a control. All this controls are donors. It's about if anybody else is going to start to line up. You know, what do you do about Kamala? What do you do about Gavin Newsom? What, what do you do about all these individuals? And it seems like whoever it is that is running the country has an interest in maintaining that, but they can only continue to do it if Biden is in front. And as the moment he says he's not running, that power evaporates and everybody else lines up. So this is a game internally, even though we know the world's on fire, the nation has major problems, but that's their focus, and that's what makes this so dangerous. Nicole, is there a chance that, look, he's not getting younger, there's been a stumble uh, almost weekly, if not daily, uh, uh, cognitive issues discussed about, but is he possibly holding out until the last minute with health considerations? It's possible. So first, speaking of stumbling, I think I said that 21-year-old has only been able to vote for a couple of months. Clearly, I meant a couple of years. I do know the voting age in the country. Um, 36 but, months. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. In terms of months. But uh, so first of all, that, that CNN... Oh, I love you, guy. You didn't mansplain. That CNN poll that I referenced said a third of Americans say that he deserves to be re-elected. And they cited one of it is possibly because of his mental proudness and the fact that he still is not able to, the way that we see him physically and mentally he does seem to be on the decline and that's not that's not critical of the president that is just that's just facts i mean the older you get you start declining and he is already greater than the life expectancy for his and maybe he should just enjoy some retirement at this point i personally would all right guy maybe you have retired politicians <laughs> every day on your radio show what's your sense is he in or out i mean he's had this placeholder answer now for months right which is i intend to run i plan to run uh sort of this holding pattern I mean, fine. I get it. Maybe they have a certain date in mind for strategic reasons. I don't know. Uh, there are a number of things that they're doing that would suggest that he is running. And Democrats that I speak to believe very much that he's going to run for re-election. The only thing I would just say to play devil's advocate is if he weren't planning to run again, would he be doing anything else differently? Because he, he wouldn't want to make himself a lame duck too early. So he wouldn't want to make that announcement. No, I'm not running too early. Mm -hmm. If he wants to run for re-election, he hasn't announced that yet. Um, so if you look at some of the vagueness, the word that you used, that might be strategic if they're looking for an exit at some point, but they don't want to tip the hand. Hmm. I'm just saying, I, I, odds are he's running again. But if not, you, you pay attention to the words that they're using and not using. And at some point, it will become too late in the game. Yeah. People will start buzzing. Okay, like what's going on? You've been intending for a long time here. You know what struck me about this trip? Last thing I want to ask you, Tammy, Hunter Biden was on the trip. Yeah, he sure was. <laughs> And he's, he got, sure he's got an investigation coming? Yeah. yeah they, they're just, I think they, for obvious reasons, feel that they can do whatever they want, that, he, that he, it's the new Teflon Dawn. And yet, Hunter, when your admitted crackhead son has to clarify questions to you from children during that trip, and that's what transpired, you know the country has a problem because the world was watching that entire framework. Uh, but there is, um, uh, you know, he's relied on his son a great deal. He continues to do so. Uh, and while the Hunter Biden story is interesting, it's not about Hunter Biden. It's about Joe Biden. No, but Griff, as a parent, I saw this as, well, you know, we're a little worried about him. We don't want him talking to anybody, yeah. doing anything. We're just going to keep him close to us so we can control what's going on. And that's how I saw it is they want control. They want him close by just to make sure he doesn't get in any trouble. And by the way, I will say Hunter is actually a pretty good handler there. So I, I would imagine <laughs> help, that you know, perhaps Hunter Biden will get a million dollar a month Irish handling it job could, at some point be. here. Very be. interesting it's indeed. Job. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it 
anywhere else.